Have you ever wondered if there was a low budget solution to a high end problem? Hi, my name is Rebecca. Welcome to my channel. I have been working on updating and refreshing my bedroom space. And along with that, I just wasn't happy with my headboard. So I decided to DIY a headboard. I thought I would show it to you. I'm going to use a shower curtain and a foam board. So come DIY with me. I purchased two pieces of ready board foam board at Dollar Tree. I measured the distance between the two posts of my headboard and then took it to my crafting room and hot glued those pieces together according to the measurement. I am wanting this to hang down from the top of my headboard to below where my mattress would set on the rails. So I kept it at the length that it was, which I believe they are 20 inches by 30 inches. I picked up this shower curtain at the Ross and I was taken aback by the beautiful fabric, the high-end quality. It had such a beautiful pattern and delightful textures. The shower curtain cost $10.99, which is a wonderful price for such a beautiful piece of fabric and such a large quantity of it. If you have gone to a fabric store or a craft center and purchased fabric lately, then you'll know how much it costs for very high-end fabrics. I laid my shower curtain out where I wanted the fabric to lay because it did have a design on it on the headboard piece and then ran some hot glue every so often on the foam board and I had some pillow stuffing that I used to lay over the foam board just here and there did not have to be very thick but since I am attaching this to an existing headboard that is metal, I did not want it to make noise when I rolled over in the middle of the night. And I also didn't want to attach it more than just the two places. I purchased my bed about three years ago on Amazon and I love my bed. However, there were a few things that I did not like about it. And then when I went to do my bedroom makeover, I wanted something more soft and not tufted, but just soft and a little bit more shabby chic looking. So this was a very cost effective way of adding that visual element to my existing headboard without spending a lot of money. I positioned my shower curtain over the foam board and the little polyfill tufting and then cut it down to size. There are so many ways that you could do this project if you were in an apartment or if you were just in your own home and you wanted something behind your bed, you could, instead of attaching it the way that I did or putting it on an existing headboard, then you could attach it with command strips or you could attach it with Velcro directly onto the wall. And this would work just the same. I am only showing you what I did so that you could get some inspiration if you were kind of in the situation that I was where it needed something, but you didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. I went around the edges once I had it trimmed off applied some hot glue and then made sure that it was very tightly secured to the foam board and there weren't any strange little gaps and gathers or puckering on the front of my headboard. On the outside edges, I folded a piece of the fabric that would be on the back side in the interior of my piece and then I folded the front fabric over kind of like a present 
and then glued that into place. I did that so that my seams would be nice and square, very straight on the outside edges, and everything would have a very nice finished look. Just because this is a very budget-friendly DIY and a very budget-friendly fix to a no headboard situation does not mean that it will look cheap, unrighteous, or something that you would be embarrassed to have in your home. That is just not how I do things in my own home, and that is not the avenue that I would encourage anyone else to go down. I made sure that this was glued down very tightly because I have cleaned this with a little dust buster and made sure that I could vacuum it and none of the fabric would pull loose. So far, so good. This has worked out very well in my bedroom. It did soften up the black wrought iron. I, I know I could paint the bed, but I thought maybe if my tastes were to change and swerve, then I didn't want to permanently fix the issue. To attach this to the bed, I took an ice pick. It went right through the fabric. It went right through the foam board. And then I ran a zip tie through the hole. And that is what I attached it to my bed frame with. I clipped the end of the zip tie off. And to cover that, I cut out pieces of the leftover shower curtain. I cut two strips out of the leftover pieces of this shower curtain. I just followed the pattern. If your shower curtain or your fabric did not have any certain line like this, then you would want to measure. However, this just made life just a little bit easier and I cut the two strips of fabric out. The cleaning was on the forefront of my mind because what I had actually replaced this wrought iron bed with was a very heavily tufted brocade headboard and it was a dark brown satin gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but it was a nightmare to clean i just never felt like i had gotten the headboard clean i wrapped those two strips around the pole and made two big fluffy shabby chic bows it turned out to be exactly what I wanted and the look that I absolutely love. And it goes with the style, the shabby chic look that I was wanting. My little princess thinks that it's really kind of awesome as well. She is under the impression that this is her bed now. Not only is this project simple, and budget friendly, but you can also modify it to suit your needs. And it's perfect if you're living in an apartment or if you're waiting to decide what it is that you actually need or want. And you're just having trouble pulling the trigger on a high-end item, but you do need something to fill the space in and make it look more cozy and homey in the meantime. So don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell so that you know when I've uploaded my next video. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching Crafts, Laughs, and Chaos.